Hi friends, today it's put Saruman from The Lord of the Rings into the spotlight. Saruman the White is one of the main antagonists from the series and he plays a huge part in trying to turn the world to darkness. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. The word Saruman comes from the old English word Siru. Siru? Saru? I which means device or contrivance. However, when adding Saruman to his works, Tolkien decided to make the word Saruman mean something in the language of Quenya, which is an elvish language. And in Quenya, Saruman means man of skill. The character Saruman goes by a few different names. For example, in Sindarin, which is another elvish language, he is called Kurunir, which also means man of skill. And obviously you would expect that the people who speak Quenya call him Saruman, as it's a word in Quenya and Saruman means man of skill, like the word in Sindarin, but they don't. Elves who speak Quenya actually call him Kurumo, which means cunning one. Like Gandalf, Saruman isn't actually a human or an elf, he's actually a Maya, which is a type of primordial being that enjoys changing its shape. One of the Maya's preferred forms is a human-like wizard, which is why both Saruman and Gandalf are human-like wizards. Saruman was played by Christopher Lee, who was a long-standing fan of the books. In fact, he first read them when they were initially published, and then he'd reread the whole series every single year until the year he died. Lee is the only actor from the franchise who actually met Tolkien, though this was by complete accident in a bar. Lee really, really wanted to be able to play Gandalf if the books were ever adapted into movies, which means that he would only audition and accept the roles of wizards for other movies. His thinking was that one day a director would definitely sit down and make these books into movies, and he'd have to find somebody to play Gandalf. Lee hoped that by playing loads of different types of wizard roles, as soon as someone thought wizard, they would think of him, and therefore he'd be cast as Gandalf. Unfortunately, by the time the Lord of the Rings movies were being made, Christopher Lee was too old to play Gandalf. This is because Gandalf was a very physically demanding role. He spent a lot of time riding horses and having sword fights, both of which were too difficult for Lee to keep up with. So instead, Peter Jackson offered him the role of Saruman, who is also a wizard, and Lee gladly accepted. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. When it came to filming Wormtongue stabbing Saruman in the back, Peter Jackson was being a typical director and telling all of the different actors what he wanted from them, where they had to stand, how they had to move, the kind of sounds they should be making, how they should react. When it came to Lee's part in this scene and what he was supposed to do, he politely interrupted Jackson and explained that he was part of the British Secret Service during World War II and knew exactly the type of sound a man makes when he's being stabbed in the back. Jackson and his team decided not to push the conversation any further, and he decided to allow Lee to do whatever he thought would be best, and everybody agreed that it made for an extremely powerful scene. In the books, Saruman is portrayed as just another pawn in Sauron's plan, whereas in the movies he's definitely portrayed as Sauron's second-in-command. Sauron has regained much of his former strength. He cannot yet take physical form but his spirit has lost none of its potency. The biggest difference between the books and the movies is how Saruman dies, and especially when Saruman dies. In the books, Saruman dies during the scrounging of the Shire, which is right at the end of the story. Wormtongue slits Saruman's throat in front of Bag End, and then he is immediately shot. <laughs> However, in the movies, Saruman dies at the start of Return of the King. Saruman is in Isengard at the top of one of the towers, and he is talking to Gandalf, and Wormtongue sneaks up behind him and stabs him in the back. I will not be held prisoner here. Saruman falls from the top of the tower and drops the Palantir as he goes. <laughs> Who from the Lord of the Rings do you want to see next? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! If you want to see the previous characters I've covered from the Lord of the Rings series, you can click on the box on the left, or you can click on the box on the right and find out quite a few facts about Sherlock. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos!